picture of Kronos, the whole experience of it, is really quite extraordinary. And especially early in my career, again, back in the 80s when I was first introduced to them, it really did, um, was transformative for me in terms of thinking about their Things don't have to be done the way we always thought they should be done. I guess there's one thing I should say about Kronos, um, which is uh, how much I remember their first uh, entrance into my life, which was their recording of of George Crumb's Black Angels, um, which was one of those thing, one of those moments um, of of realization that music, that brand new music, what well, wasn't brand new at the time, but very new music, could actually still reach me on a on a visceral level. In this wonderful process of working with Kronos, it's, um, the third step after the takedown, the arrangement, probably the most uh, critical, or I should say, in, um, the piece that influences the the, the 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 communication of the work the most, that element, is Kronos then making it their own. For the final concert this season, um, they they decided to do a program that features all Bay Area composers, and in a way, that's kind of a really nice, a fitting ending to the project that we've been working on in terms of the way we've you know uh, sort of gone out into all these different realms, and then are coming back finally to um, Bay Area composers. So I've been blessed in a lot of ways by being here, and you know, I mean, like just thinking about Kronos, the fact that they're here and. Um, they've been an inspiration to me and a lot of other people all over these years and now they are they've commissioned me to make a piece which is also an you know exciting another way of being supported by their presence here.